Dear students, in case you are preparing for UPSC exam, then this video is for you. In this video, we are going to talk about environment questions which are frequently asked in UPSC paper. So before actually starting with the environmental course on UPSC, it is must to see what kind of paper pattern is and what kind of questions are asked from this topic. So let's get started. UPSC prelim which is conducted in the month of June include environmental topics in its syllabus. So broadly we can say that prelim paper include two papers, one in the morning session and it is known as paper one of 200 marks to our duration and second paper in the afternoon session which is again counted for 200 marks and is of to our duration. So in paper one there are topics related to current affairs, history, Indian and the world geography, polity and governance, economics, general science but at the same time there are topics related to environment like environmental ecology, biodiversity and climate change. Paper 2 will judge students ability to logically reason and uh, their decision making power, problem so solving skills, mental ability etc. So paper 1 of prelim paper include topics related to environment. UPSC mains syllabus. So UPSC mains include different papers. There are qualifying papers which are English and one language. There are also papers which are actually counted in merit. For example, essay, general studies 1, general studies 2, general studies 3, general studies 4, then optional 1 and optional paper 2. Out of these, environment is specifically part of general studies 1 and general studies 3. In general studies 1, mostly the topics are related to Indian heritage and culture, history and geography. So there are a lot of topics like modern Indian history, freedom struggle, post-independence, history of the world from 18th century and so on. But in general studies 2 paper, there are topics which overlap with environment and geography. These topics are important geophysical phenomena such as earthquake, tsunami, volcanic activity, cyclone, geographical features and their location. Changes in critical geographical features like water bodies, ice caps and changes in flora and fauna and the effects of such changes. So this part overlap with geography and environment. General studies 2 paper is mainly focused on technology, economics but at the same time there are topics related to environment. So in general studies 3 paper Environmental topics are biodiversity conservation, environmental pollution, environmental impact assessment, disaster and disaster management. So broadly we can categorize environmental topics in uh, three papers. So general studies one paper include environmental topics like important geophysical phenomena like earthquake, tsunami etc. Changes in critical geographical features and in flora and fauna and the effects of such changes. Environmental topics of UPSC mains that means general studies third paper are conservation, environmental pollution, environment impact assessment, disaster and disaster management. Environmental topics for UPSC prelim include environmental ecology, biodiversity and climate change. So broadly we can say that UPS, UPSC environmental syllabus include following topics environmental ecology or ecosystem, biodiversity conservation, environmental pollution, environment impact assessment, disaster and disaster management, climate change, international agreement on environment, natural resources, environment in news based on current affairs. So let's see what kind of questions are asked from general studies 1. In general studies 1, we have following topics that means geophysical phenomena like earthquake, tsunami, cyclone, changes in critical geographical features and in flora and fauna and the effects of such changes. So these topics overlap with geography and also environment. So let's see in 2020 paper general studies 1 included following uh, questions. So GS1 was basically 3R paper and marks were total maximum out of 250. 
and there is no choice in fact all the students have to answer 20 questions all are compulsory questions out of these the environmental questions are the process of desertification does not have climatic boundaries justify example so this is related to the geophysical phenomena the changes in geological structure so a land is undergoing a change that is known as desertification and based on that the question is asked second is how the melting of himalayan glaciers have far reaching impact on water resource of india so again this question is related to effect on geophysical structures of earth third question related to environment is the interlinking of rivers can provide viable solution to multi dimensional interrelated problems of drought floods and interrupted navigation critically examine so this is related to water resource and the changes based on water resource next is account for the huge flooding of millions cities in india including smart ones like hyderabad and pune suggest lasting remedial measures so again this question is based on flood or changes in the water resource or geological structures next question is india has immense potential of solar energy though there are regional variation in its development elaborate so natural resources is continuously being part of this chapter this uh, general studies one paper examine the status of forest resource of india and its re resultant impact on climate change so the impact on geophysical phenomena is definitely important component of gs1 let's see questions which were asked in 2019 gs1 in gs1 of 2019 questions related to environment are first assess the impact of global warming on coral life system with examples second question discuss the cause of depletion of mangroves and explain their importance in maintaining coastal ecology so these are related to any change in geophysical structure or in ecosystem so environment is important component and here we have another question based on environment what is water stress how and why does it differ regionally in india how can the mountain ecosystem be restored from the negative impact of development initiatives and tourism next question how do ocean currents and water mass differ in their impact on marine life and coastal environment 2018 general studies one paper again included number of questions based on environment so there is no um, choice and students have to attempt all 20 questions which are related to history as well history geography but yes environment is continuously asked so there is no scope of leaving environmental portion so let's see in 2018 the question was why is india taking keen interest in resources of arctic region define mental plume and explain its role in plate tectonics what are the consequences of spreading a dead zone on marine ecosystem the ideal solution of depleting groundwater resources in india is water harvesting system how can it be made effective in urban areas so again it is related to resources water resource here in this case general studies 2017 paper gs1 again gs1 had environmental topics like this in spite of adverse environmental impact coal mining is still inevitable for development discuss so this is related to environmental impact associated with mining okay next question how does cryosphere affect global climate account for variation in oceanic salinity and discuss its multi-dimensional effect in what ways can flood be converted into sustainable source of irrigation and all weather inland navigation in india environment is also very important for general studies third paper in fact in general studies third paper clearly environmental topics like conservation environmental pollution environment impact assessment disaster and disaster management have been mentioned so questions are asked specifically related to these topics so in gs main gs3 mains 2020 paper the questions were 
explain intragenerational and intergenerational issues of equity from the perspective of inclusive growth and sustainable development so this question is basically related to economics as well as environment next question how does draft environment impact assessment notification 2020 differs from existing environment impact assessment notification of 2006 Next question on environment, suggest measures to improve water shortage and irrigation system to make its judicious use under the depleting scenarios. As we can notice, water resource depletion is definitely one of the favorite questions of UPSC exam. Okay, describe the benefits of deriving electric energy from sunlight in contrast to conventional energy generation. What are the initiatives offered by our government for this purpose? So energy, water, resource, these are very important topic of UPSC. What are the key features of National Clean Air Program initiated by Government of India? Next question, discuss the recent measures initiated in disaster management by the Government of India departing from the earlier reactive approach. 2019 GS3 paper. In GS3 2019, most of the questions were re related to economics and technology, but there are environmental questions as well. For example, here, vulnerability is an essential element for defining disaster impact and its threat to people. How and in what ways can vulnerability to disaster be categorized? Discuss different types of vulnerability with reference to disasters. Next question on environment, define the concept of carrying capacity of an ecosystem as relevant to an environment. Explain how understanding this concept is vital while planning for sustainable development of a region. Next question, disaster preparedness is the first step in any disaster management process. Explain how hazard zonation mapping will help disaster mitigation in the case of landslides. So definitely disaster is uh, frequently asked in UPSC paper and it is mentioned in the syllabus as well. GS3 paper of 2018 included environmental questions like this. Access to affordable, reliable and sustainable and modern energy is the sine qua non to achieve sustainable development goal. Comment on the progress made in India in this regard. Next question, what are the impediments in disposing the huge quantity of discarded solid waste which are continuously being generated? How do we remove safely the toxic waste that have been accumulating in our habitable environment? Next question is, what is wetland? Explain the Ramsar concept of wise use in the context of wetland conservation. Cite two examples of Ramsar sites from India. Sikkim is the first organic state in India. What are the ecological and economic benefits of organic state? Then related to energy resource. With growing energy need, should India keep on expanding its nuclear energy program? Discuss the facts and fears associated with nuclear energy. Next environment question is, how does biodiversity vary in India? How is the Biological Diversity Act 2002 helpful in conservation of flora and fauna? So biodiversity conservation, energy resource, disasters, they are always, be, always part of UPSC mains paper. Let's see here, next question. Describe various measures taken in India for disaster risk reduction before and after signing Sendai framework for DRR. How is this framework different from Hyogo Framework for Action 2005? Let's see 2017 GS3 paper. And in this paper, environmental questions are first, not many years ago, river interlinking was concept, but it became reality in the country. Discuss the advantage of river linking and its possible impact on environment. Next question is, climate change is a global problem. How India will be affected by, by climate change? How Himalayan and coastal states of India will be affected by climate change? Next question on environment is, 
On December 2004, tsunami brought havoc on 14 countries, including India. Discuss the factors responsible for occurrence of tsunami and its effect on life and economy. In the light of guidelines of NDMA, describe the mechanism for preparedness to reduce the risk during such events. Environment is very important component of UPSC prelim paper. So let us analyze uh, environmental questions which were asked in previous year UPSC prelim paper. So let's just start with 2020 paper. So in 2020 paper, there were questions related to protected areas. For example, which of the following protected areas are located in Kaveri Basin? Is it Nagarhole, uh, Satya, Mangalam, Tiger Reserve, Wild Night Wildlife Sanctuary, etc. Then on one endangered species, that is Indian elephant, the question was related to the life cycle and location. So which of the which of the following is correct um, in the context of Indian elephant? So the elephant uh, in elephant group, the leader is female. Maximum gestation period can be 22 months, and so on. The next question was related to India's biodiversity. These species belong to which group? Are they birds, primate, reptile, or amphibians? Again, next question is related to a species, musk deer. So where? What is the exact location where musk deer is present? Next question is based on Indian swamp deer location. So um, This Indian swamp deer species is present in Kanha National Park or Manas National Park, Madhumalai or Tal Chapar Wildlife Sanctuary. Next question: In rural road construction, the use of which of the following is preferred for ensuring environmental sustainability and to reduce carbon footprint? There are some choices out of which you have to choose. Next is. Uh, based on pollution so on pollution the question is related to coal ash so coal ash contain arsenic lead mercury coal fired power plant release sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxide high, high ash content is observed in indian coal the next question is related to act wildlife protection act so schedule 6 of wildlife protection act states so out of these we have to choose one option Next question is related to social cost of carbon which option is correct next with reference to india's desert national park which of the following statement is correct next question is among which of the following tiger reserve uh, critical tiger habitat is largest so choices are cobbet ranthambore nagarjun sagar and sundarbans let us see environmental questions which were asked in upsc prelims of 2019 So, in fact, in UPSC prelim of 2019, there were 10-15 questions directly related to environment. So, which of the following national park is completely in temperate alpine zone? Which of the following statement is correct? So, Asian lion is found naturally. Double humped camel is naturally found in India. One horned rhino is naturally found in India. Next question is based on Agastya Malaya Biosphere Reserve. So, uh, which all centuries or national parks are included in this biosphere reserve next question is to match the location with the animal's name then related to turtle some species of turtles are herbivore then some species of fishes are herbivore some species of marine mammals are herbivore species of snake are viviparous next question is related to plastic so microbead uh, are released in environment and how harmful they could be Which state has maximum forest area out of Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha? Consider the following. So these are the name of pollutants, and we have to choose one option of pollutant which is released after burning of crop or biomass residue. Which of the following statement is correct about methane hydrate? Then related to convention, Ramsar Convention. So according to Ramsar Convention, which is the correct statement. then based on pollution again the question is agricultural soil release nitrogen oxides in environment cattle release ammonia in environment poultry industry release reactive nitrogenous compound in environment which is the correct option you have to choose next question is related to forest act so so let's see the option as per recent amendments of indian forest act forest dwellers have right to cut bamboo grown in forest area According to Forest Right Act of 2006 bamboo is a minor minor forest produce according to Forest Right Act of 2006 ownership of minor forest produce is given to the forest dwellers so which is the correct statement 
then the next question was solid waste management so as per solid waste management rule 2016 which is the correct statement then india's um, environmental protection act of 1986 states the requirement of public participation in the process of environmental protection it lays the standard for emission and discharge of environmental pollutant which is the correct option in india next question is in india extended producer responsibility was introduced as a feature of which of the following rule so broadly we can say that upsc environmental syllabus topics include following environmental ecology ecosystem biodiversity conservation environmental pollution environment impact assessment disaster management climate change international agreements on environment natural resources environment and news we will be discussing all these topics in upcoming video so if you want to see the detail of uh, prelims or mains paper then please uh, check the description box and watch the next video for detail on each of the following topics thank you